doing really really well thanks for joining me today i wasn't sure whether to do this video i picked these boxes up around black friday time and i thought it would be interesting to compare some mystery boxes from different subscription services to see what kind of things you get and whether they're good value for money i haven't had many subscription services this year I haven't been signed up to Glossy Box or Rocker Box or Birch Box, although I did a couple of Birch Boxes, I think, earlier in the year. I really haven't had many subscription services this year, so I knew there was a good chance that I wasn't going to get boxes that I'd had previously. And I just thought it would be interesting to see how they compare to each other. So we have a box from Glossy Box, a box from Rocker Box, and a box that I haven't ever unboxed on my channel before, and that's from Pip Box, which is a cruelty-free beauty box. So they were all roughly around the same price. I think Pip Box might have been slightly more expensive, but yeah, roughly around the same price. I think they usually do deals where you can pick up a box, especially on Glossy Box and Rocker Box, for a fiver or around seven quid. So I think they're quite comparable in that sense. So I'm going to start off with Rocker Box. I've had mystery boxes from Rockbox before, which have been pretty good. I really like their limited edition boxes, but I haven't been overly tempted by their subscription service, especially since the end of the year, the end of 2021, they upped their price a little bit. Um, there's been some decent stuff in there, just nothing overly exciting for me. So this is completely random. I don't know what's inside. Let's have a look. I'm not sure whether this is going to be like a previous month's box or whether it's going to just be a random selection of items. This just says, hey you, like what you see in this box and you'll love what else Rockerbox has to offer. £15 a month for a monthly subscription. Five to seven beauty goodies every month. So let's see what we've got in here. Okay, straight away I can see a product that I have got. And this is from Jack of Black. It's the Glow Drops Highlighting Primer for Face. Vegan and cruelty free. In champagne and um, this is 20 mil and I've actually got this in another mystery box that I picked up from Rockbox um, but I think the color that I've got is rose gold and this is champagne so I really like the one that I've already got I use it as a highlighter rather than um, using it as a primer for under my foundation maybe I should try that though I, I've said that before I know I have I've got a feeling that when people unboxed the champagne one originally, they said it was really glittery, which the rose gold one isn't glittery. It gives you really nice sheen and glow. Um, but yeah, I actually really like that one. So hopefully this will be good. I'm not going to open it because it's sealed. And I've obviously already got one in a slightly different colour already open. But yeah, that's a good start. I do really like that product. And Jekka Black, not a brand that I've used an awful lot of, but that glow drop product that I've got in the different shade is very nice next up we've got probiotic by doctor's formula this is radiance eye serum okay you can't go wrong with an eye serum or cream for me because that's the one area that I have real concerns of so this says our probiotic eye serum is specially formulated to improve the look of the eye area it contains a complex of active ingredients that aim to brighten the look of dark under eyes smoothen the look of fine lines and wrinkles and reduce the look of droopiness of the upper lip eyelids i like the fact that it says the upper eyelids because i sometimes find that even though these products are formulated for eyes if i try and put it on my eyelids i have problems so it'll be interesting to see if this does um give me any grief with my eyelids i've had real problems this year especially the last few months especially this eye my eyelid having like eczema so i've had to be really careful what products i'm putting on there so hopefully this will help um 15 mil it's nice enough packaging i've got a feeling that this is expensive this brand is expensive and i'm not really sure why there is probiotic also known as good bacteria are living organisms naturally found in our bodies that aim to support our immune system and overall health when applied to skin probiotic treatments aim for the creation of a protective shield which help to restore the natural balance of your skin's defenses and locking moisture so we've got hydrolyzed yeast protein, which aims to provide long-lasting hydration, strengthen skin's good bacteria and skin's defences. Then we've got Persian silk tree and darutoside. No idea what that is. Aims to brighten dark under eyes, smoothen the look of fine lines and wrinkles and reduce the look of droopiness. Natural gentle AHAs aim to promote smoother looking skin. Okay, interesting. Yeah, looking forward to trying this. Um, I don't think I've tried anything um, by this brand before. I've seen it included in quite a few subscription boxes and I'm sure it's pretty pricey, but I haven't tried it. So yeah, looking forward to giving that one a go. 
Then we have a smoothie stick lip crayon in Saucy Masala. Who is this by? This is by The Beauty Crop. Okay, I haven't had anything from The Beauty Crop for a while. It is a brand that you used to see quite a lot in subscription boxes. I am going to open this. I do like a good lippy. This looks like a really nice brown shade, which I do tend to go more for browns and nudes than anything else. Let's have a little look. That is quite dark though. I mean, it's not coming up quite so dark on camera, but because of the light, the sunlight. Let's have a little look. It is very brown. That is very brown. Um, not the colour. Not a colour I would usually go for. I was hoping it would be a bit. I don't know. More orangey. I don't know. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. If anything, I suppose I could shear it out a little bit so that it's not quite so deep. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's nice. It seems nice enough. The texture's nice. It's okay. It's okay. We've got a little perfume sample. I'm presuming this was just a little freebie. This is Elisab Fragrance of a Bright Ray of Sun, a luminous woody floral. Light of a jasmine, sandback, and orange blossom bouquet combined with solar, ylang, ylang, and ambery woods. Okay, I don't think I've ever smelt this brand before. I've heard a lot about them. I'm just... um. Yeah, it's nice. Not the kind of scent I would usually go for. Um, but I think that's really nice, actually. Uh, again, I think quite expensive perfume brand, though. But, yeah, nice to try a little sample. Next, we've got from Anatomicals. Silly Twits, ignore their mitts. This is a mint hand sanitizer. Always handy to have a hand sanitizer in these times, isn't it? I like Anatomicals. Really affordable brand. Um, their shower gels and things are lovely. We've got 40 ml in here, perfect handbag size. This does have 70% alcohol in it, so it is going to work. That is just squirted straight into the lid. Let's see what that's like. I wonder whether it's got a minty scent, because it said mint hand sanitizer. Oh, it does smell, really smell of mint. You know, sometimes when they've got high alcohol content, you can just, it just smells like fragrance to alcohol that actually just smells really minty and that hasn't left my hands feeling sticky at all so that's really nice yeah always handy to have not the most exciting product in the world but a good one and then we last but by no means least we have from beauty mallows a repeat after me i am me pink clay face mask to make you glow inside and out this is vegan made in the uk and it also says 5% of profits donated to mental health charities, which is lovely. What a lovely thing to do. So it's a French pink clay and kaolin mask with strawberry, melon and cranberry extracts to help make skin bright, healthy and clear. I don't use an awful lot of clay masks. I don't suffer with oiliness really or breakout prone skin. But because that's like a little 10 gram sachet, it's going to do one job, one mask, isn't it, really? So that might be something handy to keep in my stash for in case I get any breakouts. Yeah, I have seen these as well included, this uh, brand included in beauty subscription boxes before. And they look like an interesting brand. So overall, I think for, I think, what was it, seven quid or something? That's not a bad little, not a bad little box. Um, I do think Rocker Box pretty good we'll see how it compares to the others shall we do glossy box next glossy box which is probably one of the most well-known boxes in the uk there were so many variations of these to pick from i randomly selected so i don't know what i've got um when the box arrived i obviously opened it and saw that this was vision direct and glossy box i don't think i've ever seen this so i don't know what on earth is in this box i'm presuming this is some sort of limited edition but i don't remember ever seeing it being advertised or sold i know sometimes on the glossy box mystery boxes they do other countries boxes french and german boxes and things so maybe this was one that was there it says meet your new beauty routine glossy box 
and then I'm presuming that's what's inside the box. Let's have a little look. It does always come really nicely packaged, the glossy box. So let's undo the string, see what we've got in here. Okay, so there's our little box of goodies. Can you tell I'm not overly impressed? First up, we have a Nails Ink Nail Polish. I really love Nails Ink. This isn't necessarily a colour I would have picked. It is very bubblegum pink, I would say. It's quite a childish pink. It's called Blossom Kisses. I will keep it. It's something that I may use in a manicure in springtime. It's that sort of uh, pastel-y, pinky colour. And this RRP is for £11. Really great brand, Nails Inc. I will say that. They are a good nail po um, polish brand. So this says, Boasting a delicate pastel hue with cool undertones, this soft pink nail polish is the perfect on-trend colour that complements every outfit. Better yet, its formula lasts up to 10 days and its wide brush makes it really easy to achieve a professional looking manicure. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. They are great nail polishes, although mine never last 10 days. So first up, a nail polish. That's okay. Nothing amazing there. Then we have this from Steve Laurent. Oh, it's a lip gloss. Okay. I, I've had Steve Laurent products before. I think they've been like glitter eye pigment things, which aren't really for me. But a lip gloss I can go with. The packaging's quite nice. got this like coppery lid on it. And it says colour... It says, live your life in colour. Steve Laurent Beauty. Actually, that is my kind of colour. That is really nice. It's like a very nude brown and it's called Nude Pop. It's not included in here. That's weird. So they've given me a leaflet. Um, this product isn't included. So the product in the leaflet is the Floss Full Size Lip Balm that in here no so i think they've put this in because they haven't got the floss beauty lip gloss but that's fine by me weird that it's in a pot i don't usually have colored lip balms in a pot um i don't know whether that's even going to show up on my skin but yeah i will use that that's something that i can maybe just keep on my desk and you know before a meeting or something just quickly put a bit of lip balm on give myself a little bit of a color there is nothing on the box to give you any information and it's obviously not included on the sheet i presume that's full size as well next up we have some tweezers a uh, bit boring but usable basic beauty tweezers these are full size and are our people 15 pound 50 really for tweezers I think I've had a set of three tweezers before that cost less than that. And in all honesty, I don't think these are the best quality tweezers I've ever seen. I mean, I will give them a go. They're just pink. They have the basic beauty stamp on them. But they feel pretty basic. Um, I wouldn't pay £15.50 for those. Always handy to have some tweezers though, so I will chuck them in my drawer. And I'm sure they'll get used because these are the kinds of things that I lose. Um, next up, we have a Trifle Cosmetics Praline Palette. I think I've already got one of these from a glossy box a few years ago. A playful palette of six intense multifunctional eyeshadows, which can be used wet or dry. Intense vibrant shades range from neutral bronze to wearable khaki and deep eggplant. Formulated with creamy coated micronized pigments to reduce shadow fallout, these unique powders are hot pressed into their goddets for a strong yet velvety smooth texture. Comes complete with a large mirror and double ended sponge, cruelty free. Cruelty free is great, vegan, also great. Um, but yeah, I think I've already got this. In fact, I'm almost positive I've got this and I don't think I really reach for it very much. This colour is nothing I'm ever going to wear. These are more usable shades for me, but yeah, I don't think it's one that I've really gone for. And I don't think um, when I have used it, I don't think I've found the quality all that great. I've definitely got this palette from Glossy Box in the past. 
wasn't this box though because I definitely haven't had this box before. And then last but by no means least, oh my gosh, this is from Delicious Natural Skin Food. Hello Beautiful Exfoliate and Glow Original Black Tea Body Scrub Formulated to buff, brighten and deeply nourish skin from head to toe. I haven't had a tea body scrub before but I've had coffee body scrubs before and I hate them. They are messy and I just don't find that they do an awfully good job. This says an antioxidant rich caffeine based exfoliator formulated with a special blend of black tea and essential oils to leave you glowing from head to toe. Black Assam tea is a powerful antioxidant, brightens dull skin, targets infections, essential oils rich in vitamin E to revitalise skin and leave you smelling delicious. Sugar and salt buffs away dry skin, sweet almond oil moisturises and softens and they donate 10% of their profits to help stop human traf trafficking, which is amazing. Um, it's a UK company, again, which is brilliant. It says wet skin, take a handful of scrub, massage over entire body, leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse. I mean, I don't know how in the shower I'm supposed to leave that on for two to three minutes without washing it off. I don't even know if I'm going to try this, to be honest. Um, I really don't like these salts of scrubs. I just find them really messy and I don't enjoy them. So I don't know whether that's going to be one that I use. So that's full size, by the way, and the RRP is $7.95. Yeah. Uh, I think so far Rockerbox is winning. I really like the Steve Laurent lip balm. We'll definitely use that. And I will probably give the nails ink nail polish a try because I like that. The Those two products... Not for me. I mean, tweezers are usable, aren't they? So, yeah, um, not exciting and not brilliant. And that's a pretty poor, pretty poor mystery box, if I'm honest. I'm sure there were better ones. Like I said, there were loads of mystery boxes on the Glossy Box website. I just randomly picked one. Don't think I did a very good job there. Maybe my luck wasn't in. Last but by no means least, the pit box. I think I paid $9.99 for this, by the way. So it was slightly more expensive than the other two mystery boxes. And this was a deal that I saw on Woucher or one of those types of websites. It took ages to arrive. I thought it was lost and not arriving. But I was really interested in seeing what this box was like as I haven't had pit box before. And so it's a cruelty-free beauty box. So everything included is cruelty-free. And this is edit number seven for 2021, Beauty SOS. So this was their July edit. And the total value of the box is supposed to be more than £68. So for my £10 spend, that's pretty good. So what have we got in here? We've got another Nail Zinc Nail Polish. So this is the 40 Second Speed Gloss. And it's in Brazing on Bond Street. This is a very vibrant summer colour. Lovely orangey colour. We'll definitely use in summer. I've probably got one. If not the same colour, very similar colour to this. This is Nail Zinc Fastest Drying, polished to date, and it RRPs for £8. So that's a nice start. Then we have something from Save, More Than Natural Skin Care, Anti-Pollution Vitamin C Booster. Protect your skin and prevent early ageing. 30 mils, this will be full size as well. Cruelty free and vegan. I've definitely seen this brand somewhere don't know whether I've tried any of their products before but I think I've definitely seen them so this is an anti-pollution vitamin c booster super powerful booster protect your skin against environmental stressors used together with a moisturizer sleeping mask all alone this amazing formula makes your skin stronger optimally hydrated and younger looking thanks to an amazing combination of ectoin and ectoin what's that no idea what that is I wonder whether it tells you on here Oh, it does. Naturally powerful ingredient that shields your skin from damages caused by pollution and UV light by supporting skin cells in their defence mechanisms. Decreases the visibility of photoaging effects, wrinkles and dark spots. Helps to fight the negative effects of oxidative stress. It has an outstanding long-term moisturisation effect. Perfectly suits and calms irritation. Gentle enough to be suitable to most sensitive skins. Interesting. Um, not, a, not an ingredient I'd heard of before. For all skin types... Two to three pumps to cleanse dry skin for best results use every other day. I'll wrap you for this £37. Uh, let's have a look at this then. 100% cruelty free, 100% vegan, 95% nat nature derived and 99% biodegradable. So there we have a little 
pump bottle there. That sounds really interesting, actually. I struggled a bit recently with vitamin C's uh, being just too much for my skin. And so I've been looking at other antioxidants to use in daytime. But because that's sort of mixed with something else, then that might work for me. So yeah, in interesting that one. Looking forward to using it. Next up, what is this? This is from eCooking. I have used eCooking products in the past, but not this one. This is Intimate Wash, fragrance free, contains lactic acid, which maintains the vaginal pH balance. It's a good job I'm a woman or this would be pretty useless. Um, so yeah, we have got here, how much is in here? 125 ml. I mean, this is something that I really don't think you need. I don't think you need a specific wash for your area. Just be careful what you're using down there, but I don't think anyone needs a specific wash. Fragrance free to avoid irritation. E-Cooking's intimate wash is a mild and gentle soap that effectively cleanses without aggravating or drying out sensitive skin. Instantly refreshing nether regions with its low pH formula and gentle cleansing agents. RRP is three pound. I mean, I will use it. I'll give it a go. Do I think it's necessary? Not really. I think it's a good idea to have something that's pH balanced and like with no fragrance or anything, but you don't need to buy something specific to do that job. You can find other products that aren't specifically intimate washes that are also the same. Um, next up, we've got from Bloom Town a natural deodorant. So Glide On Deodorant Bar, free of aluminium baking powder and parabens. Palm oil free, vegan and cruelty free, glide on deodorant bar, 50 grams. I like that it comes in a little tin so you can keep it in. It does smell very much of lavender. <laughs> I can't really smell much rose geranium in there. Yeah, very lavender-like. I have had a lip balm from Bloomtown before. It was pretty nice. So this says, banish the smelly fent in the room, get natural and effective odour protection in a unique plastic free bar formulation, which allows underarm heat to soften the bar just enough to glide on smoothly. RRP's £10 for that. I wonder how long that will last, because £10 is obviously more than I spend on a normal deodorant, but if it lasts like three times as long, then that's not so much of an issue, is it? So this is Up Circle's Face Scrub, made with repurposed coffee grounds, uh, floor blend. I literally just got one of these in my My High box, so I now have two. I said then that this isn't a product that I would necessarily reach for or buy myself, but I will give it a go and see whether it's what it's like. If I don't enjoy it for my face, I will use it up as a body scrub. So it's a coffee face scrub formulated for sensitive skin with chamomile, rosehip, geranium, and patchouli essential oils. Buff away dry dead skin cells to leave you feeling soft, smooth and glowy. Blended with shea butter to nourish the skin post scrub. So the coffee grinds that they use in this are repurposed from artisan coffee shops, which I think is a great idea. Natural, sustainable, vegan and cruelty free. Made in the UK. All the packaging can be recycled. I think it's a great idea, a great brand. Um, but yeah, not something I don't really like a harsh physical exfoliant for my face i'd much rather use a chemical exfoliant but we'll see what it's like so this is a coffee face scrub formulated for sensitive skin with chamomile rosehip geranium patchouli essential oils face scrub gently buffs away dry dead cells to leave you feeling soft smooth and glowy rrp is 12.99 that's the is that the last product yeah that's the last product in this box so i mean good good size products in this box everything's full size i think yeah, everything's full size. So I will give the wash a try. I'm sure it'll be fine. Really intrigued by the anti-pollution vitamin C. I'll give the deodorant a go. I've got a couple of solid deodorants now to try. Really like the nail polish. And then this one, not really for me. I think that's a good box actually for a tenner. I think that's a really good, really good buy. Right, there are a few products in these boxes then I'm not interested in, I'll be honest. So what I think I'm going to do is give these away to one of you lovely guys. So if you're interested in getting these products, and I will obviously go through my stash and probably throw in a few extras as well, then leave me a comment below. Um, you must be subscribed to my channel, so make sure you're subscribed and that your profile is on public so that I can see that you're subscribed. And leave me a comment below with one thing that you are either looking forward to doing this year or are hoping to achieve this year. 
So I am looking forward to having a summer holiday. That is my main goal this year is to actually go somewhere nice for summer and spend a week with the family, with the kids, doing something nice. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to doing this year or something that you're hoping to achieve this year. And I will randomly pick one of you to win these three goodies and some other little bits and pieces that I can throw in for you as well. As a little thank you for watching my channel and supporting me. Um, yeah, so just make sure you are subscribed and leave me a comment below. And I hope you enjoyed that. I think Rockerbox definitely won for me out of those boxes. I did like the Pip Box though, but I don't think they often do mystery boxes. Like I say, that was a voucher deal, but it might be worthwhile picking up, especially if you're interested in quality free products because they are all cruelty free which is great um glossy box just not hitting the mark for me recently i haven't had a glossy box in ages i wasn't overly impressed with that one at all so i think if i'm ever going to pick up a mystery box again from um one of these sales i think it will be rocker box let me know if you agree or if you preferred glossy box or if you would like to see any other mystery boxes and I will keep my eyes peeled for any other sales that come out. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one very soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.